So here's the thing. Don't think that one day you will wake up thinking that you are finally ready to start solving yearly past papers and uh, you will open up a yearly past paper. You will be able to solve the paper in time and also get good marks. That is just not going to happen. It's always going to be an uphill journey. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to make that climb as easy as possible. But before we get into that, before we start talking about how to make that climb as easy as possible, it's important to understand why you're struggling to solve yearly past papers to begin with. See, prior to solving yearly past papers, I'm sure, I hope uh, you must have been solving topical past papers. So the way it works is that when you're solving topical past papers, your brain is constantly recalling information, but very limited information, very limited concepts. So for example, if let's say you're solving past papers of trigonometry, your brain is just focusing on recalling concepts of trigonometry, such as Pythagoras theorem, sine rule, cosine rule, stuff like that. But when you open up a yearly past paper, now you have to recall everything that you have done at once and our brains are not used to it. So it's not like, I know a lot of you will probably start questioning your preparation and you'll start doubting yourself. I get a lot of DMs, people telling me that, you know, they opened up a yearly past paper, they were unable to finish it in time and they feel like they've forgotten everything. Should they even appear in May, June or should they definitely appear in October, November? I'm sure if you've been solving topical past papers and by now, by the time you're watching this video, if you're done with like 40, 50% of the syllabus, so you're good. Honestly, you're good. You don't have to worry about it. But here's what I would suggest. If let's say you have done 40, 50% of the syllabus, then start attempting yearly past papers. Initially, it's going to be difficult. I know we're going to talk about how to make it easy, but please do start attempting yearly past papers and attempt questions only from the topics that you have covered. So if you haven't covered a topic, don't worry about it. Just do the topics that you've covered. And one other suggestion that I would like to make is that when you are solving a yearly past paper, just do it in one go. Doesn't matter how long you take. Don't worry about it. Just do it in one sitting. Don't you know solve a few questions, take a break and then solve the next few questions maybe after the break or the day after don't do that just do it in one sitting so that you know you can sort of develop that mental strength to sit through the paper and once you're done with the syllabus you know this is something that we're gonna work on even more okay so tip number one how to get good at yearly past papers so like i said make sure that you're solving topical past papers alongside so as soon as you learn a topic make sure that you solve topical past papers of that topic so that you can get used to the kind of questions that you will have in the exam you know what usually happens is that students are just focusing on questions from the book and when they open up past paper questions they think it's like a whole new ball game altogether but that's because you're not used to solving questions the way that you will get in the exam book questions are kind of designed to focus on a very specific area past paper questions are kind of designed to focus on the entire topic so as soon as you're done with the topic make sure that you solve at least four or five years of topical past papers of that topic tip number two do not wait till you finish the syllabus to solve yearly past papers so i see a lot of students who make this error by the time they finish the syllabus they realize that it's already too late and uh, you won't have enough time to you know work on being able to finish the paper in time and uh, you won't basically have enough time to get comfortable with your past papers so don't do that as soon as you're done with 40 50 percent of the syllabus make sure that you start solving yearly past papers and like i said earlier that solve questions only of the topics that you are done with don't worry about the topics you're not done with you know you will be doing topical past papers alongside so you'll kind of work on those areas as well so right now, by now, like I said, you should be done with 40, 50% of the syllabus. So please make sure that you solve yearly past papers and start with the recent ones. Okay, so start with 2024. I'm sure the 2024 paper must be out by now. So start with the recent ones. Don't worry about a magic number that I need to solve this many years of past papers. There's no magic number. We're going to talk about that also. So just make sure that you get used to solving questions the way that you will be in the actual exam. Tip number three, once you're done with majority of the syllabus, let's say 70, 80% then start solving yearly past papers and initially do not worry about how long it takes you to complete the paper see our brain can worry only for a few things at once you can't worry about being able to finish the paper in time and also getting good marks don't worry about that take the first three four years to work on your timing so initially what you can do is but however uh, having said that remember that you have to finish the paper in one sitting so if you sit down right now to solve a yearly past paper don't get up till you're done doesn't matter how long it takes so what you can do is while you're solving yearly past papers, it's inevitable that you're going to get stuck. So use the three, four years to work on your timings, or you can use, let's say five, six papers, including variants to work on your timing. 
and uh, what you can do is while you're solving you can refer to your notes if you have to if let's say there's a concept which has gotten a bit rusty you can watch a video or two if you have to so the whole idea is to basically get yourself fluent with all the topics that you've covered in the past being able to recall them instantly that's what the idea is the first five six past papers that you will solve are not so that you can get a good score or you can finish the paper in the given time that's not the objective treat the first five six seven eight past papers however long it takes to make sure that you have done your revision and now all the concepts are with you they're fresh just like they were when you first did them and with that after you've done that then you can gradually make sure that you bring your time down so if let's say if it's taking you three hours to complete a two-hour paper then you know gradually bring it down to maybe two hour 30 minutes two hour 15 minutes and then eventually two hours or even under that obviously you should try and make sure that you have at least 10 15 minutes to spare so that you can check everything that you've done so once you do all this and given that you do it consistently remember that consistency is key here it's an uphill journey as i mentioned at the very beginning of the video you might feel like giving up you might even start questioning your own preparation that's perfectly normal it happens to majority of the students that I interact with face the same issue but it's only the consistent ones who are able to get through this so it's an uphill climb I know and you know I'm here to help you as much as I can and inshallah I'll be making more and more videos to help you uh, navigate through yearly past papers and like I said make this climb as easy as possible so that's it for this video let me know what tips and tricks you have tried for yourself that have delivered the results that you basically wanted and that's it for this video I'll see you guys in the next one until then take care bye bye Oh, 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 oh,